Welcome, Flip Clock fans, to this big mess on my desk here. What I'm doing is some late spring cleaning. I've got to get some of these clocks off of my desk and out of Flip Clock Fan Studios for a while. This is the Seth Thomas catalog number 857. It's the cube clock. It's going to be hard to select which ones to put down in the dungeon. Now when you store these clocks, you don't want to wrap these cords around the clock. That will actually scar your clock, believe it or not. I like to use foam. Alright, it's gone. The Cipher 3. This is the Solaria Udine Cipher 3. And I've got another one up here anyway. I love how the minutes go on one arm and then the hours on the other. Let's see, Solaria Udine Cipher 3. And this is the MoMA version, the Museum of Modern Arts. It was a reproduction in the 90s. This one I just don't have room for. And it's going in the dungeon. The dungeon is what I call the basement. That's where I store my stuff. And this is not a flip clock. But that's not the reason I'm putting it down there. It's just time to store it for a while. It's January 31st, 1936. Which is pretty cool. So I just left that on there. It's just been penciled in. And what you want to do when you store your clocks, especially one like this because it's painted, but all the clocks, you want to clean them before you store them. Sounds kind of corny, but it's important, especially on a painted surface, because your fingerprints can actually cause problems in oxidation. You want to get it nice and clean, and get it wrapped up, and put away. Okay, what's next? We've got this Copal, which is a black-lighted flip clock. I really like this clock. It's an... Uh, what is it? LP245. Of course it is. We're going to get rid of this one. We'll put it in storage for a while. Nice looking clock. We just don't have room. Okay, this is a Copal Caslon. One of the early flip clocks. Caslon 701. Just love this color. It's so retro. It looks like an avocado. The hours have a darker color. Now that's only for 12 hours. The other is in, in white, and your alarm is set like that too. And you can choose whichever one you want to be day or night. I like the day to be the colored one because it looks so cool. I wouldn't see it otherwise. Using my cleaner here. We use a koala cleaner. It's just a lens cleaner, and this stuff works great for me. It's safe against uh, all kinds of stuff, chrome and paint. And what you want to do is you want to get a soft tissue and wipe once, and you wipe away. You don't rub back and forth. You're not scrubbing it. And you want to keep changing the, the surface that touches the clock. Now, this clock has real glass in the front, so that's why you see it's spotless. It makes you wonder if, if some of these clocks are rare because the glass broke and they just tossed the whole clock. Love this look. I just don't think I can put it away, so we'll probably not put that one down. We're going to, in its place, we're going to put this one here. This is a Copal T7. You can see it's got a motor that you actually have to start by hand. It's kind of strange. Got, oh, there's some cor corrosion there I hadn't seen before. Now, this clock came to me with corrosion, but I, I didn't see that hiding there. Copal T7. This is a movie flip clock. It was in the movie Knowing, Nicolas Cage movie, which was a watchable movie. So it's got a lot of dust on it. Boom, it's gone. It's magic spray. So this is a sunbeam, and all sunbeams were copals, made by copal. But I'd never seen a barrel flip clock before, and this is the only one I've ever seen. So if you ever see something like this, let me know where you saw it, because I don't even know why they made it. And that's probably why I bought it. Boom. Now this one may be a surprise. It's a Panasonic Groundhog Day flip clock. It's, it's the clock that really got it all started for me. It started the obsession. It's the Panasonic RC6025. I started with these and I started restoring them, selling them, and then I caught the bug. But I just don't have room for it up here. We'll get it out again sometime, don't worry. This is a Cosmo flip clock. And I just had to see what it was all about. I had seen it online and I wanted to know what it was about. Well, we found out the mechanism is really kind of a, a goofy mechanism and they don't last long. But this one happens to be in really good shape. And we're going to keep it in storage for a while. Yet I'm trying to clean things up so I can I can move on my desk and 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 get things done around here. And it, again, I, I have nothing against any flip clock. So there's it's just not a good flip clock. I mean, I'm sorry, it's just not. It's it's cool to have. I wouldn't run it. 
for any length of time. But it's good to do reviews and stuff like that and compare. But off it goes. And where they're going is in this tote here. And I've got them all wrapped up nice and neat. So don't worry. They're safe. Now this is a Copal Caslon Mini Mod. Love this little clock. I took it on vacation with me when I went to South Carolina. Its model is Mini Mod. It doesn't have a number. It's just a Mini Mod. It's not an alarm. It's just a clock. If you've ever seen one of these, you should get it. It's a really good first clock. It's got a glass front like the other Copal 701. You just can't beat a glass front flip clock. It just, just looks brand new. All you gotta do is keep it clean. This one was discolored. I had to do what a lot of people call retro brighting on it. And the reason I'm putting it away is because I've got one in orange that I'm going to keep up here. There's that glass. You just got to love that. But, got to need it. Off they go. Now this here is not a flip clock, obviously. It's called the Elgin Drum Clock. Well, that's what people call it online. It's hard to read that clock and figure out what time it is. So it's sometime around 11 there. But it's just a curiosity. And it's, it's just as this one is. This one isn't a flip clock either. But I, I got them because they caught my eye. And this, they were in good shape. You see, that's how you set it. I just don't want it up here for now. We're going to put them in storage so i got some room to work up here. Get them all wiped down. Off they go. This one here, again, not a flip clock. It was just one that, that came up and it was in good shape. Looks great. It's called the, well, what people call it is the Sony speedometer clock for obvious reasons. It is an actual clock and a radio. It's the model 6RC15. It's a sought after clock. So when you see them online, they're going to go for no less than 100, but you got to go, guy. See you later. What's left? Well, another Elgin. No offense, Elgin. And by the way, don't call it Elgin. There's that glass again. People from Elgin, Illinois get really, they get ticked if you call it Elgin. It's Elgin. Wait a minute. No, it's Elgin. Sorry, I'm not messing with you. They, sometimes people call it this model number, but that's not. That's a part number. 16506, because that's on other, other cases. Elgin, like gin, like you drink. Yeah, don't get them mad, man. So this is the Seth Thomas, and this is beauty. This should stay up here. Catalog 796. It's, it was a new inbox that I had gotten because it was so unique. Nice clock. It is a battery-operated clock. It's got all that chrome. It's all, I don't want to hit the label. It's all chromed out. There's your battery compartment. Again, you got to make sure when you store your clocks, all your batteries are out. Don't even leave your batteries in there. A lot of people have done that over the years. It can be fixed usually, if, unless it's a radio. Sometimes that'll go in there and just totally mess some things up. The batteries are, you're not your friend. Look at that glass. They should have kept that up with the glass. But there must have been a reason. There would have been cost and also breakage. So when you get one with glass, you've got something special there. We're going to get all that garbage off that chrome. So you don't want to use ammonia and you don't want to use alcohol on these clocks, especially ammonia on this plastic, this chromed plastic. It'll degrade it. Do not ask me how I know that. And chrome paint as well. So we're going to get it cleaned up. We're going to get wrapped up in foam, bubble wrap. But it's pretty. You almost, you almost want to keep it up here. Again, I'm not getting rid of anything. I don't, I don't sell my clocks anymore. And yes, I have a problem. Of course I do. And, but I enjoy this problem. There's my Koala Cleaner. I, I highly recommend this stuff. It's worked for me. And that's not all, though. We've got this big old Panasonic. I had fixed this one up. I did a video on it, and it was sitting over there by the TV. Wife did not like it there. She is not a fan of flip clocks. She is, a t she is toler tolerant of flip clocks but not a fan of flip clocks. This is the Panasonic RC7462, a black lighted flip clock radio, a nice one. But I just don't have room for it, and it'll be in storage in case we ever want to talk about it again. 
off it goes. And there they are. There's the ones that are going to get put in the coffin here for a while and down into the dungeon. They, they will go. Well, around the house, you may ask, what, the, what do I have left? Well, here on the mantle, you can still see the nails from, or the screws from the uh, stockings. Well, the mantle, that was a left Amsterdam, and we've got a Seth Thomas in here in the Twemco. That's a modern flip clock. We did a video about that just recently. And on my nightstand nowadays is the Copal Model 225. It's, that's a new in-box version, and yeah, I'm running it. Well, this is what's in the studio itself. And again, the studio is just a corner of the living room that the, that the wife's letting me use. She's tolerant. You can see my 227s at the top there. I've got a Cifra 2, a Copal. There's a Mini Mod. There's a Boulevard Cube Clock. And here's my 101s. I'm a big fan of the 101s. There's the Seth Thomas, and there's the Avocado. On the top of this little compartment here, we've got the GE, which is American, and an Ingram. And in the middle there, that's a Bradley wind-up. Here's some, these are pivotal historic flip clocks here. And you may recognize some of these. One of the newest ones there is the Howard Miller flip clock, which I'm very fond of. And in the right bottom there is the Sony Digital 24. Hard to find in that kind of shape. Well, there it is, folks. When I say flip clock fan studio, it's kind of tongue in cheek. It's just a corner of, of our living room that you can't see when you walk in the house. I think that's why she wants it over there. She didn't banish me to the basement, so I got my little place here, and this is where we make the magic. Well, I'm glad you were able to hang around while I put up some of my clocks. Thanks for taking the time. <laughs>